All right, time for another math easy solution to discuss uh, infinite limits and look at a precise definition of an infinite limit. Basically, in my earlier videos, I went over infinite limits as an overview in terms of vertical and horizontal asymptotes, and also I went over precise definition of a limit. So just make sure to watch those videos in the video links below. And also, yeah, so now we'll just start at the definition. So the precise definition states, let f be a function defined on some open interval. Uh, that contains the number a except possibly a, at a itself. So it doesn't have to be defined at a or the endpoints. That's what the open interval uh, states right there. You can just make sure uh, if you want to learn more about open and close interval, just just click on the video link below. Then basically you have this notation. So if you have that limit as x approaches a, this is an infinite limit of f of x equals to, and you would write infinity right here. This is positive infinity. I'm going to do a negative infinity. Uh, uh, soon after I get through this one and this basically means for every positive number m There is yes, yeah, so basically every positive number there is there is a positive number delta That's related to this whatever number you pick m such that yeah such that f of x is going to be greater than this m right here whenever Whenever x minus a right here is going to be less than this delta and this is also greater than zero here. So you have this x minus a is in between these uh, zero and this delta right here. And to get an idea of, of this precise definition and, and basically to make, make more sense of it, I will graph this, uh, just to illustrate it graphically. Yeah, so if I just graph this function right here, f of x right here, I just want to illustrate this uh, precise definition. It's uh, pretty straightforward. So let's say, and you know that uh, basically the limit or vertical uh, asymptote right here at let's say it's at, at x equals to a right here so there's a vertical asymptote right here so all it's saying now the with the limit the intuitive definition states well, well as, as you get closer and closer to a then basically uh, this fx keeps going up and up right here so as you're getting closer uh, then this is just going higher and higher and you're going to infinity right here at this asymptote right here so now this the idea of this uh, definition let's just say Oh, we have an f of x value, or let's say x is somewhere close to a, so let's say right here. So there's x, and then if we have x there, then our, uh, basically we go up here and we get our f of x value right here. So now, what this is saying, f x greater than m for every uh, positive number m. So let's just pick a random positive number m right here. So for this, if f of x is right there, this let's just call this y equals m right here, so just a horizontal line. As you can see, fx is greater than it, and it's only greater than it whenever uh, this x is, is in between right uh, this interval right here. Yeah, so far to draw this interval right here, so fx is greater than this, uh, this m value, so we have this whenever, well, it's only greater than it whenever you're in between these two, uh, like, intervals right here, so between between this interval right here, and as, as you can see, if we call this part right here, let's call this, uh, this is going to be a plus delta right here, let's just call this delta 1, and then this one right here, because as you can see, this one's bigger than this one, so then here's going to be a minus delta, let's call it delta 2, and as you can see, this is going to be delta, delta 2. And this one right here is going to be delta 1 right here. So as you can see, but uh, this one is saying just one delta, so we could just pick the smaller of the two. And the smaller of the two we'll just call delta equals to S1, because it's just a smaller one right here. And so then basically this is our delta, and it would be somewhere like here. We pick the smaller one, because if you're further out, if this is S2, as you can see, if you're somewhere here, it's still going to be greater than M. But if your S or just delta 2 on the right side, it's going to be somewhere here. And you're going to be somewhere here. And then if you go down, it's going to, this is going to be less than this. So we've just picked this one. So even if it's somewhere here, it's, you're going to be somewhere even higher than, uh, than on the right side of this A right here. So we just pick delta, uh, delta 1 as, as basically the delta. And here I just uh, erased all that other stuff. And I just put what you need to know. So this is going to be, at this point, A plus delta. And this is going to be <clears throat> a minus delta somewhere right here. And this basically, your x, if, if it's anywhere between these right here, so then this distance right here, this is going to be x minus a right here. And then this is, this is going to be less than this full delta right here. So it's only when this is true. So this is number for every positive number m, you're going to have a different delta. So if you have m right here, if you draw it like this, if this is m, and then this is going to be your f, let's just say your x is somewhere going to be, it has to be in between right here and here. 
So again, your delta is going to be, this is going to be your delta. So it's, it's going to be somewhere in between. You're going to just get smaller and smaller right, right here. And then, because as you know, the closer you get to A, the higher the number is. So you're going to go all the way to infinity, basically. But your delta is just going to get smaller and smaller. But this infinite limit is only for positive uh, infinity or, yeah, so it's just positive inf infinite limit. Now let's look at just the negative one. It's going to be the exact same, except we're going to be dealing with negative infinity. And thus, basically, just exactly like the above definition, let f be a function defined on some open interval that contains the number a, except possibly at a itself, then limit as x part a of fx equals to negative infinity. And, and this basically means that for every negative number, now uh, number n, not positive anymore, then there is a positive number delta such that f of x is less than n whenever 0 uh, is, is going to be less than x minus a absolute value less than this delta. And basically, uh, the, here's a, just a graphical illustration. Basically, the same as the as the above uh, defi definition for positive infinity. But now, this is all it is now is going down downward. And now we have a vertical asymptote right here at a, just like before. This is our f of x right here. As you can see, it's going to infinity as you get closer and closer to a. So now let's just draw this line n. So now we're gonna have y equals to n right here. And if we have f of x right here. If this f of x and it's going to be less than n, so we have this case, and then so then if we just pick any random f x right here, so f x less than n, whenever well it's only true when you're in between these intervals again, so it's same as above, and we'll just pick the smaller one right here, and then we'll pick the smaller one right here, and then we'll call this delta. So this is only true, if, and this is going to be in between it right here. So it's only going to be if this is your x value. So it's going to be anywhere between these two, and that's that's what this is saying right here. So basically, whenever you have it in between here, that's the only way you can have f of x greater than, than, than basically this y equals n, or this n number, which is just any negative number. As you see, it's a negative number because it's less than this at the x-axis or the y equals 0 line right here. Well, that's all for today. Remember, you could uh, download these notes in a Dropbox link below, and uh, hopefully you'll learn from this. Uh, yeah, this video right here, just a, just a quick overview and a precise definition of uh, infinite limits. That's all for today, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.